Can you hear your surroundings? Your colleagues chatting, a car passing by, a phone ringing, distant dogs barking, or perhaps your own singing, typing, or talking. Sound is all around. It is an essential part of our daily life, influencing our experiences and well-being. Sound plays constantly a crucial role, but excessive or unwanted noise can be disruptive and even harmful to our health and productivity. To manage sound effectively, it's important to understand the concepts of soundproofing and sound absorption. In this video, we'll explore the differences between soundproofing and sound absorption, including their definitions, mechanisms of action, and practical applications. By the end of these several minutes with us, you will have a clearer understanding of how these concepts contribute to creating optimal acoustic environments in various settings. If not, drop us a line and schedule a consultation with our engineers and acousticians. Before we start this journey, make sure you are subscribed so that you'll never miss a note of knowledge. Soundproofing, also known as noise control or sound insulation, refers to the process of preventing sound from entering or leaving a space. The goal of soundproofing is to reduce the transmission of sound waves through barriers, thereby minimizing the transfer of noise between different areas. Soundproofing is the process of reducing or eliminating unwanted sound or noise by adding physical barriers or damping materials to block the transmission of sound waves. This can be done in various ways, depending on the type and frequency of the sound waves that need to be blocked. There are generally two types of sound waves that can be blocked through soundproofing, airborne sound and impact sound. Airborne sound is sound that travels through the air such as music or conversation. Impact sound is created by physical impact, such as footsteps or slamming doors. The different types of sound waves require different types of soundproofing methods to effectively block them. One common method of soundproofing is to install thick walls or partitions that are designed to absorb or reflect sound waves. These walls are typically made of materials that have high density and mass, such as concrete or brick. The thicker the wall, the more sound it will block, as it will reduce the amplitude of the sound waves and prevent them from passing through the barrier into the adjacent space. Another method of soundproofing is to use double-glazed windows, which have two panes of glass with a layer of air or gas in between. This design helps to reduce the amount of noise that enters or exits the building, as the air or gas layer acts as a barrier to the sound waves. Specialized soundproofing materials such as acoustic foam or mass-loaded vinyl can also be used to reduce the transmission of sound waves. Soundproofing is commonly used in buildings that require a high level of sound control, such as music studios, cinemas, and conference rooms. It can also be used in homes to reduce the amount of external noise that enters the living space, such as traffic noise or noisy neighbors. In addition to its practical applications, soundproofing also has health benefits, as exposure to loud noise can lead to hearing loss, stress, and other health problems. By reducing the amount of noise in a given space, soundproofing can help to create a more comfortable and healthy environment. RW rating is crucial for soundproofing. It quantifies the ability of a material to diminish airborne sound transmission. A higher RW rating indicates better sound attenuation capabilities. It helps engineers, architects, and designers select appropriate materials and construction techniques to achieve desired soundproofing levels in buildings for comfortable and peaceful indoor environments. Soundproofing is essential in a variety of settings where noise control is critical. In residential buildings, soundproofing helps to minimize noise transfer between neighboring units, ensuring privacy and tranquility for residents. In commercial spaces such as offices or conference rooms, soundproofing can improve concentration and productivity by reducing distractions from external noise. Similarly, soundproofing is vital in entertainment venues such as theaters or concert halls to enhance the clarity and quality of audio, especially when combined with acoustic products. Soundproofing meeting rooms or workspaces will minimize distractions and improve productivity. Soundproofing guest hotels rooms will ensure a peaceful and restful environment for guests. Soundproofing recording booths or control rooms will help you achieve high-quality audio recordings without interference from external noise. If you're considering soundproofing your home, office, or studio, it's best to consult a professional.
Sound absorption is the process of reducing the reflection of sound waves within a space, thereby decreasing reverberation and echo. Unlike soundproofing, which focuses on blocking the transmission of sound, sound absorption targets the absorption of sound energy within a room, improving its acoustics. Sound absorption is an important aspect of acoustic design, particularly in spaces where sound quality and speech intelligibility are crucial. Sound absorption materials are designed to reduce the amount of sound that reflects off of hard surfaces, which can cause a variety of issues such as echoes, reverberation, and unwanted noise. Some popular examples of sound absorption materials include foam, wood, or specialized fabric. These materials are designed to absorb sound waves, reducing the amount of noise that is reflected back into the room and improving overall sound quality. One common example of a sound absorption product is acoustic panels. They are typically made from materials such as foam, wood, textile, or pet felt, designed to absorb sound waves through frictional resistance. When sound waves encounter these materials, they are converted into heat energy, which scatters throughout the material, this results in a reduction in the intensity of sound reflections within the space. Another example of a sound absorption product is curtains or drapes. These are often used in home theaters or recording studios to reduce the amount of sound that reflects off of windows or hard surfaces. In addition to improving speech intelligibility and reducing unwanted noise, sound absorption materials can also improve the overall quality of audio playback. Whether you are designing a home theater, recording studio, or conference room, Choosing the right sound absorption products is essential for achieving optimal sound quality and performance. Proper placement also plays a critical role. The sound absorption coefficient measures the amount of sound energy absorbed by a material across different frequencies. A material with a high absorption coefficient absorbs more sound energy and is therefore more effective at reducing reverberation. For example, acoustic panels with a higher absorption coefficient are ideal for spaces where speech intelligibility is crucial, such as conference rooms or recording studios. Sound absorption in recording booths or control rooms will help you achieve accurate sound reproduction and minimize unwanted reflections. Sound absorption in auditoriums or performance spaces will enhance the clarity of live performances and improve the audience's listening experience. Sound absorption in educational settings will reduce reverberation and background noise, allowing students to better understand and engage with instructional content. Sound absorption in dining areas will create a more comfortable and enjoyable dining experience for patrons by reducing noise levels and echo. At Decibel, we offer acoustic panels of different types that are designed to combat unwanted noise and ensure a clear and crisp sound. Soundproofing is primarily concerned with reducing noise transfer, whereas sound absorption focuses on improving the acoustics of space by reducing reverberation and echo. Soundproofing relies on physical barriers or damping materials to block the transmission of sound waves. Sound absorption utilizes absorbent materials to convert sound energy into heat, reducing the reflection of sound waves within a space. Soundproofing is typically applied to walls, floors, and ceilings to prevent noise transmission. Sound absorption is applied mainly to walls or ceilings to improve acoustics and reduce reverberation. Soundproofing materials in an installation can be more expensive than sound absorption materials, especially for comprehensive noise control solutions. Sound absorption materials are often more affordable and easier to install, making them a cost-effective option for improving acoustics in various settings. Whether you need a soundproofing or an acoustic solution, consider products that offer DIY easy installation. This will save you additional time and money for installers. To find the best sound approach, assess your space's needs first. If you face noise from sources like loud neighbors TV, speech, footsteps, or dogs barking, then soundproofing panels can help. The first step you should take is to define the type of noise you have airborne or impact and its source too. Next is to combine soundproofing with acoustics. Remember, you need to soundproof your place first, then go for the acoustics. Consider factors such as budget and levels of sound reduction and absorption when making your decision. 
Decibel offers both soundproofing and acoustic products to meet all your needs. Soundproofing and sound absorption are two distinct concepts that play complementary roles in managing sound in various environments. By combining both soundproofing and acoustic methods, you can create a peaceful and comfortable space to relax, work, or sleep, free from the distractions of unwanted noise. There is one rule only. Use high-quality products. This way, you won't have to compromise on performance, durability, or aesthetics while achieving excellent results. Not sure what to choose for your space? Drop us a line here in the chat and get a consultation with our acousticians. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and ring the notification bell to stay updated. See you soon!